Hi, hi, live dancers. It's Delisa, and today I'm going to show you three ways to wear a sarong African material. It is Black History Month, as we all know, and today is for the body, and we want to look good and feel good during Black History Month. I know there are probably a lot of events and church events that people want to go to, and you may want to go a little bit traditional with your head wraps So, and how to wear the sarong. So I've got some material here about, I think I have two and a half yards of fabric. This is my local fabric that uh, I got from Julia Chigamba. Thank you, Searle Collection. I will put her information in the comment section in the description. So um, yes, so this uh, fabric, African fabric is really strong. It's really good for head wraps and, and wearing sarongs. So one way, a lot of times when I'm performing and we're in um, an area that may be a little cold and we're looking around for something to throw over our shoulders and we don't want to show our costumes off too much, I just wear the fabric, say ça, just like a little shawl. So you can do that. You can also bring it up. Number two way, you can do it as another type of shawl and just throw it over. And African material can bring out any type of uh, outfit that you're wearing. You could have all black, put a splash of color with it and go and there you are. So now that's number two. And now for the head wrap, I'm gonna to try to get this going for you. For the head wrap, I'm just gonna fold it kind of lengthwise. I'm gonna bend my head down and then wrap the two ends together like so, okay? So here we go. <laughs> Pray for me, I'm on camera. One, two, three, and since I'm on camera, we can do this in a mirror, but I'm on camera, so I can do it here now. And I learned this, and I watched the women when I was in Senegal in 2008, and they just, bam, put it together, and up it is. And it looks pretty cute. And you can just play with it and see what you may like. So yeah, three ways to wear sarong, African Lapa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. So sarong, Lapa, Zambia, Zambia, three terms for the same thing, a wide piece of fabric. And for the body, for my Black History Month moment, I am taking a moment out to recognize one of the Supremes. If you know the Supremes, they were a group, you need to know who they are. And we have Diana, Florence, and I'm going to lift up Mary Wilson today. I have a book, uh, Mary Wilson's biography, and uh, she's very interesting. I was able to uh, see her and sing with her on stage way back in the 90s. Oh my God. So a phenomenal woman. And I will read to you a little bit of her book that we have called Supreme Faith. And we got this book in 1990. Supreme Faith begins in 1970 as Barry Gordy has been paving the way for his betrothed, Diana Ross, to shed the Supremes and claim her solo, solo stardom. But what happens next wasn't what Gordy and Ross had planned. While Ross had only one top hit for the next four years, the Supremes now with Gene Terrell see hit after hit, climbing the charts with songs of up to the left, up the ladder to the roof there we go and stone love so we have motown artists such as Smokey robinson stevie wonder and the jackson five have instant success the record company has been dealing with the supremes and all of that so mary's private life is wonderful and tumultuous tumultuous and you <laughs> this is really it looks really 90s right the cover awesome so mary wilson i just wanted to give you a shout out i really enjoyed uh i was at the alameda county fair when i sang with her so one of the unsung women of the supremes mary wilson pick up the book i'll put some links in the description y'all take care now i'll see you on a fantastic friday
like the head wrap. I love it. Like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. Know when to do it. Take care, peeps. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.